listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day This is Daniel White III with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 317. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy-related headlines, which point towards the Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the Associated Press, North Korea vowed to cancel the 1953 ceasefire that ended the Korean War, citing a U.S.-led push for punishing U.N. sanctions over its recent nuclear test and ongoing U.S.-South Korean joint military drills. Without elaborating, the Korean People's Army also warned of surgical strikes meant to unify the divided Korean Peninsula and of using a precision nuclear striking tool. Second today, according to the Associated Press, China defended its booming military spending this week, saying that vast investments in the armed forces have contributed to global peace and stability, despite concerns among the U.S and Beijing's Asian neighbors over sharpening territorial disputes. Chinese uh, defense spending has grown substantially each year for more than two decades, and last year rose 11.2 percent to $106.4 billion. Only the United States of America spends more on defense. Third, today, according to the Associated Press, Iran and Syria condemned a U.S. plan to assist rebels fighting to topple President Bashar Assad and signaled that the Syrian leader intends to stay in power at least until the 2014 presidential elections. The remarks came against the backdrop of a strategic victory for the regime as the military regained control over a string of villages along a key highway to open a potential supply route in Syria's heavily contested north. Fourth today, according to the Epoch Times, a minor earthquake struck Rome and nearby areas, including the resort home of the Pope Emeritus Castel Gaudolfo just three days after uh, Pope Emeritus Benedict retired there. The earthquake had a magnitude of 2.5 and there were no reports of any damage. Pope Emeritus Benedict will be staying at Castel Gandolfo during the conclave of cardinals, which will ultimately decide who the new Pope is. Fifth today, according to the Jerusalem Post, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas met in Saudi Arabia with U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry and discussed the latest regional developments. Abbas requested that the Obama administration exert pressure on the Israeli government to release scores of Palestinian prisoners and freeze construction in the settlements. An official quoted Abbas as saying that unless Israel 
met these two conditions, the Palestinian Authority leadership would not be able to resume the stalled peace talks. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 4, 5, Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. We trust that this broadcast slash podcast is being a blessing and encouragement to you in reminding you of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and in keeping you informed about prophecy-related events in the news. Our host, Daniel White III, has an ebook titled, Ten Things God Wants You to Do in the Last Days. This book gives ten biblical tasks that all of us should be engaged in as we await Christ's return. You can purchase the ebook online for just $1.99 at secondcomingherald.com. Your purchase of this book will help us continue to spread this message around the world for the glory of God. Now, here's Daniel White III with a closing word. If you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, may I encourage you to get to know Him today. To do so, please understand with me that you are a sinner, and so am I, and that you have broken God's laws at some point in your life. However, in spite of your sins, God still loves you, and He does not want you to be separated from Him forever. Romans 5.8 tells us that God commendeth his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins, all you have to do is believe in him and receive his free gift of salvation. If you do so, you will not have to suffer eternal punishment in hell, but you will live eternally in heaven with God. Now, dear friend, if you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again, and you want to invite him into your heart today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Holy Father God, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today. Amen. Dear friend, if you just trusted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and you prayed that prayer and you meant it from your heart, I declare to you that based upon the Word of God, you are now saved and you are on your way to heaven. Welcome to the family of God. I want to congratulate you on receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. For more information to help you grow in your new faith in Christ, go to gospellightsociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Jesus Christ said in John 10:9, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. Now in closing, please remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty-four forty-two: Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty-four forty-four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. Now let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator. When he prayed, even so come, Lord Jesus, even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. You got to get your business straight.